three weeks after our Olympic trials, like I was in surgery and I was six months recovery. And, you know, it's, it sucks because you had this dream and then for it to be taken away from you and for you to even go to the trials and know that you couldn't put your all out there because you had an injury. My name is Braxton Stone Papadopoulos. I'm a Canadian wrestler and I wrestle at the weight class of 63 kilos. I wrestle for a team called Team Impact and we're based here in Toronto. I started wrestling when I was 10 years old. My uncle Stan Zogus, he's actually the head coach of the team that I wrestle with right now, Team Impact. So I was also, I also did Taekwondo and I was a black belt in Taekwondo and then finally my uncle was kind of like, you know what, like maybe we should try her out with wrestling, see how she likes it. And when I first started wrestling, I hated it. Like I couldn't believe it. Like every practice I would look at my parents and I was like, why are you making me do stuff like this? And then I think it was three years I lost every single match. Like I never lost one match. I Sorry, I never won one match. but. For some reason, like I would always come third because it was always only me and two other girls. And then eventually I actually, uh, I ended up winning this one really big match like three years in. And then like after that match, just like all the years of losing, like it didn't even matter to me anymore. I was like, wow, like I just, I just won one big match. Like, and then after that, like I started falling in love with it and I started wanting to work hard because that feeling of like, winning and knowing that it took three years of losing to finally get me to the point where I could finally win my first match. Like that was what made me fall in love with the sport of wrestling and that is why I picked the sport of wrestling. I made actually the senior national team when I was young. So the senior national team is um, for people that are 21 and older and also on the senior national team you get to travel the world, you get to go to things like Pan Am championships, world championships, like all the certain like games and also like hopefully one day the Olympics so when I was only 17 I actually ended up making this senior national team and I was the youngest person in Canada to ever do that and me and my coaches we kind of sat down and talked about it and we were like the biggest difference between me a 17 year old girl and also a woman at the age of like 21 and up and um, was the strength difference so that's when we started thinking okay like you know what we need to start getting you into tr strength training and I tried out a few gyms and you know Nothing really worked for me and then eventually my coach Kim and Kim, he actually looked, found, found out about this gym, um, Layla Performance Systems, and I've been here for about two and a half years now and the difference has been unreal. When I was growing up, my dad, I was, I've actually been extremely blessed. My parents have done a lot for me, especially in the sport of wrestling. You don't really get a lot of money, like it's not like something like track or tennis or hockey like that wrestling it, it takes you a while to start making some money in the sport so my dad always like it was kind of like my family we all dedicated our lives to my goal of becoming an olympic champion and uh when i was younger my dad definitely like paid for a lot of my traveling and he every single trip i have never been on a trip um without my dad so he always comes with me and uh yeah my parents have definitely helped me along the way a lot and like i I'm truly blessed because they dedicated their lives as well to my Olympic dream, so. December of 2015, I, uh, we had our Olympic trials, and um, unfortunately, two weeks before um, my trials, I tweaked my shoulder a little bit, and, you know, I was kind of worried about it because it was just like something felt off, like every once in a while you get bumps and bruises, and you won't think anything of it, but something about my shoulder felt off, so... My two weeks leading up to my Olympic trials, like I was at doctors, getting MRIs, getting this, getting that. So I wasn't really focused on the trials itself. And then I found out that um, I had a really bad shoulder injury and that it needed to be taken care of like pretty much as soon as possible. So it was hard going into trials with an injury and like I wasn't focused on, you know, winning the trials. Like I was focusing on like, oh, oh my shoulder, like how am I supposed to wrestle? How am I supposed to do this? Like my weight training suffered, my like cardio suffered, like my on mat practices suffered. So when I got to the trials, unfortunately, like, you know, I, I didn't win and I didn't get to go to the Olympics in 2016 and it was heartbreaking and it sucked. And then especially right after, like three weeks after our Olympic trials, like I was in surgery and I was six months recovery and you know it's it sucks because you had this dream and then for it to be taken away from you and for you to even go to the trials and know that you couldn't put your all out there because you had an injury it was really unfortunate but the whole like six months that I've had to recover like I've been thinking like I've been 
I've been like wanting to get back on the mats. I've been wanting to get back in the weight room. And like finally now that I'm here, like I've been training now. I think I've been back into training for about four months now. And um, I've like pushed myself to levels that I've never pushed myself to before. Uh, in the weight room, I've lifted weights that I never thought I could lift. And in the mat room, like I, I'm changing my wrestling style and I'm feeling good and I'm feeling confident in my new wrestling style. And I, uh, I actually had my first tournament uh, two weeks ago. And it's crazy because um, I never remembered what it was like to be nervous because, you know, I, I wrestled for so long straight and never really got injured. And uh, I wrestled my first tournament and I was like, I remember I was so nervous. And when I get nervous, I'm, I cry, which is like really weird. But um, yeah, and I was just so nervous. And I was like, oh my goodness, like, you know, what if, what if, that whole like six, seven months that I had, like I didn't prepare properly or like I didn't do what I needed to do to come back to the mat stronger and better than ever. And, um, you know, I had my first tournament and had my first match and it went really well. Like I ended up tacking the girl 10-0 and, you know, as soon as I walked off the mat, like I just instantly started crying and like everybody was looking at me, they're like, why are you crying? And it was just, I was so overwhelmed with like, joy and I guess just feeling blessed that you know um because I'm extremely religious like feeling blessed that God had allowed me to you know be able to have the opportunity to get back on the wrestling mats and be able to overcome such like adversity and you know still come back and even though I was nervous even though I was a little bit rusty like I still felt better than I had ever felt on the mats and that was good and uh then I actually just recently got back from another tournament in uh, Vancouver, BC, and it was a pretty tough tournament. I had a really good match in uh, my semifinals, and then my final match, it was actually a girl that I wrestled at the Junior Worlds in 2015 for the bronze medal, and our match at the Junior Worlds only went 2 nothing, and it was really, really close, so I knew um, in Vancouver that if I wanted to win this match, like I would have to work hard, and I was just like, it was gonna be my first grinder match, I guess, since I got back, and sure enough, like, you know, I just listened to my coaches, I was relentless, and I ended up beating the girl 5 nothing. so it was really excited, and I, I, really exciting, sorry, and I'm like, I was so happy, and of course my dad was there, and like, you know, my two best friends, Brandon and Dylan, they were there, and my coaches, and it was just, really exciting and I remember like we were all standing there after because my whole me my friend Brianne and my friend Dylan we all actually won the tournament as well so you know Team Impact went in there and dominated and uh we were all sitting there and we were really excited and we were really, ha really happy and like my team just kind of started chanting like you know the champ is back the champion is back and you know like in a way it was it was good like I felt really good because I was like you know what like I am back and like even if I don't win every single tournament, even if I have to go through losing so many tournaments, I know that that adversity, like I'm, I'm ready for the adversity. I'm ready for doing what it takes to get me to the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo. My advice for uh, young wrestlers would definitely be to always listen to your parents <laughs> because, you know, even though sometimes like I, when I was younger, my dad, Every single day would be like, Brad, you need 200 push-ups, you need 200 sit-ups, and I would never want to do them, but, and, and he would always force me to go to practices, like, we would fight to go to practices, like, there'd be times when he would literally be dragging me across the floor just to get me to practice, and, you know, my dad pushing me and saying, you know what, just listen to me, just listen to me, even though I, even though I didn't want to, that got me to the level that I'm at today, and I would also say, like, don't ever give up like you know even when I went through my inner injury like I did want to give up like you know I was I'm so young I'm only 21 years old and like I'm not even pretty much like sh I shouldn't even be a senior like you know what I mean I shouldn't even be on the senior stage but it's the fact that I am and you know going through my injury like I did want to give up and I was like you know what maybe I should just start focusing on like school maybe I should just but then I told myself, I was like, you know what? Like, you have a dream. Don't ever give up on your dream. Listen to your parents. <laughs> For sure, listen to your parents. Yeah.